Hello and welcome to a new Map Plus tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a closer look at an important topic. Understanding how some of the most used filters in Map Plus actually work. Inside Map Plus, we have a set of filters that can be applied to our masks. Many of them are fully procedural, but there are four that work in a different way, and it's very important to understand their logic. These filters are Blur, High Pass, Sharpen, and Slope Blur. To make it clear, we'll start by focusing on the Blur filter, since all of them share the same workflow. When we add a blur filter, what Matte Plus does is generate a kind of copy of all the masks that were applied before it. This copy is created by baking all the previous mask information, and then the blur effect is applied to that baked image. In addition, you can choose the resolution for this effect. For example, if you are working with masks that contain very fine brush strokes, you may need to increase the resolution. This workflow has both an advantage and a disadvantage. The advantage is that the original masks are not modified or destroyed, since the effect is applied on top of an independent image. This also allows you to play with mask blending, multiplying, subtracting, or using any blend mode you want between the blur and the mask underneath it. The disadvantage is that this resulting image sits on top of all the masks of the layer, which means it can hide any new changes you make in the masks below. For example, if we edit a mask that comes before the blur, and add new details, we won't see them reflected because the blur is in mixed blending mode, which replaces all the previous information. To solve this, we need to temporarily disable the blur. Then we make our modifications in the previous masks. Finally, we press the update button in the blur filter so that it generates a new bake with the updated information. The same behavior applies to the other filters, High Pass, Slope Blur, and Sharpen. It also happens with the Link Mask tool, which works very similarly to Anchors in Substance Painter. You might wonder, what if I have several blur filters and also a Link Mask? Do I have to update each one manually? The answer is no. Matte Plus includes a button called Update All Layer Effects which refreshes all the effects that have changed in one go. In the next part of the tutorial, we'll take a look at a practical example where we will also use the Link Mask tool. Soon we will release a dedicated tutorial focused only on this tool. In this example, we are going to use a texture to create a crack effect. We will add a blur filter to enhance the effect. Then, we go back to our texture to adjust some values. To see the changes, we disable the blur filter. We enable the blur filter again and update it. The changes are immediately visible. Next, we are going to create a link mask. This will store the mask information so it can be used in another layer. We create a new layer and assign it a color.
Then, we add a mask and apply a fill layer effect. In this effect, we enable the link mask we created earlier. And now, we can play with the color ramp value to increase the contrast. As you can see, all filters, including Link Mask, can also be updated using the Update Global button. Finally, we'd like to mention that we are working on a much more automatic workflow, where manual updates won't be needed. This improvement will be available in a future MatPlus update.